I've got a quick and easy at home science experiment for you today, Mentos and Diet Coke. So the first thing you're going to need to do is grab a piece of paper. The thicker the paper, the better. Then what you're going to want to do is fold it in half hamburger style, okay? Like this, just like that, hamburger style. Then you're going to roll it up, okay? Depending on what size your Diet Coke is, and by the way, you can use Coke, Mountain Dew, uh, Dr. Pepper, any type of soda that you've got, but depending on the size of your bottle, that's how um, wide you want your piece of paper to be. So for example here, I'm using a two liter bottle today, and so what I'm gonna do is make sure that I've wrapped this around just enough so I can very loosely put my paper on the edge around the neck of my soda bottle, just like that, okay? So now, once you have your thing in a tube, you're going to tape it down, so tape your entire tube down, and then about an inch from the bottom, go around and stab four holes, okay? So poke four holes, then two toothpicks and slide it through the bottom to make an X. So the goal is you have something like this. You're just making a little cross because what you're gonna do is put all of your Mentos in here, pull the toothpicks out, and that allows for the Mentos to drop down into the Diet Coke. Okay, so let's try this one. Now, you can use any type of soda like I said before. The reason we use Diet Coke is because there's aspartame in there. In Coke, you have your sucrose, your sugar, and sugar is sticky. So most parents just wanna use Diet Coke because it's less of a mess. But honestly, you can use any type of soda. What you really need is something with the carbon dioxide in there because you've got millions of those CO2 molecules. So once you've got your tube with your two toothpicks, which is a little bit of an X, you're gonna come over to your Diet Coke, and like I said before, just put it very loosely over the neck of it. Now, if yours is too tight, open it up a little bit. You wanna make sure your Mentos can easily slide through there. Technically, you can make your tube nice and tight and fit on the inside of the soda bottle. That's actually what I used to do, and I've more, more recently switched it up because it's a little bit easier. Okay. So you've got your soda, you've got your apparatus, now the fun part, you wanna add your Mentos. So be super careful here, you don't want any falling through. In fact, I actually usually load it over here. Thirteen and fourteen. Fourteen it is today, okay. So then you're gonna very carefully put this back on if you've taken it off. Again, the only reason I like to take mine off is because I'm kind of clumsy um, and that kind of falls through, so I just it's just for me. All right, so get this a clear surface. When you're ready, you're just gonna pull your toothpicks out and step back. <laughs> Oh my God, I love that one. Okay, so what just happened? Well, the Mentos are really porous. They have like little holes that are kind of on the outside and they're what we refer to as nucleation sites. So as the Mentos drops into the Diet Coke, these nucleation sites basically, for lack of better words, attract all the carbon dioxide molecules that are inside that Diet Coke. So the CO2 comes flying in, but because they're all moving to that very center, trying to get onto that Mentos, the pressure builds up. So instead of just like hanging out on the Mentos itself, they slam into each other, build up pressure and boom, shoot out the top. And that, my friends, is Mentos and Diet Coke. If you like that one and you want to know more, there are 24 more experiments in the Big Book of Experiments available at stores near you. Bye, guys!